right, we're back, and now we're actually gonna program what this jog wheel can do. Not only can we program what every single button on the touch screen and what these 12 buttons can do on our control, but we can program what the jog wheel does also. And to do that, we're gonna go back into U-Control again. Now, I'm on the touch screen section where earlier we created a new button to uh, utilize one of those automation functions. And we're gonna actually go all the way down to this wheel section here. Now, this graphic is actually a graphic of our artist transport control surface. But even if I wanted to adjust or change what the jog wheel on the control does, I would actually first go into this section and select the jog wheel. And also, we're gonna go ahead and do this not in Pro Tools, but in iTunes to show you guys the f true flexibility of these control surface. And it's a great example because there's a key command in, in iTunes for me to turn the volume up and down by holding, if I hold the command button on my keyboard and I hit the up and down arrow, I'm turning the volume up and down in small increments. It would be a heck of a lot cooler if I could just do that with my jog wheel by turning it left or right. And I can do that by creating what we we're calling these custom jog wheel modes. And I referenced this in a video earlier, but we didn't actually show you how to do it, so that's why we're here. Uh, we want to show you how you actually get this done. It's a two-step process. First thing, select this, click on Command. Click on this plus sign to create a new custom jog command. And first step here is to label it what you eventually want it to do. In this case, we want it to adjust our volume in iTunes, so we're going to label it volume. And now I have the option by turning the jog wheel right to fire off, have that fire off a key command. So I can have it be command plus the up arrow. Right. And then I can toggle this guy to turn jog left, add another key command to it, and this time it's going to be command down arrow. So now we see that by turning the jog wheel right, I'm going to be firing off command up arrow multiple times. And by turning the jog wheel left, I'm going to be firing off command down arrow multiple times. And that's the first step. Now since the jog wheel can do more than one thing, we have basically allowed you to program not only key commands and Yukon commands to these buttons, but also custom wheel commands. So after you create a custom jog wheel command, you then need to assign it to a button so that you can, that button will basically tell the jog wheel to do that function. So we'll go into the surface this time. I'm gonna actually highlight this one and I'm gonna clear it. And I'm gonna click on command. And I'm not gonna add a key command or a Yukon command, right? Or a page command. I'm actually gonna add a wheel command. And the wheel command, um, I'm gonna now assign to not the jog wheel of the transport, because we do not have one connected, but the jog wheel of the control. And I'm gonna go into this custom pull down, and under custom I see this volume, because I just created it. And we're gonna close this window now, and we're gonna get back into iTunes by using my application switching button on the control surface. If you guys notice, it's mimicking command tab for me here, so I can go and quickly get to all my different applications that are open. We'll go back into iTunes. I'll hit this volume button, and then I should be able to turn my volume up and down with the jog wheel. And look at that, it's exactly what it does. So very hip new feature, and yeah, I'm doing this in iTunes, but the possibilities are really endless. You can program that to, in Pro Tools the exact same way, using the exact same process, Logic, Final Cut Pro, Media Composer, whatever you seem to be using. So uh, please do utilize that. Thanks. And I'll also note that there are many custom jog wheel commands that we've already created for you, so you don't have to start from scratch.